Hi, I'm Roberta Watson from Jefferson's Alumni Office. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our first Workout Wednesday. Today we'll be led in a 30-minute workout by Katherine Harris. Katherine is a certified personal trainer, a cycle instructor, and is a member of our 2020 class. She'll be joining our alumni community from the Occupational Therapy Assistant Studies Program. With that, I will hand it over to Katherine to begin our workout. All right. Hi, everybody. Like she said, my name is Katherine. I usually go by Katie. But uh, anyway, I'm so happy you guys are showing up today. Uh, right now, there's a lot going on, a lot we can't control. But right now, we can control our health, and we can keep doing this to keep us active, use it as an outlet, really whatever we need. Um, so just thank you for showing up today. How I'm going to kind of run this class is going to be 30 minutes. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of adaptations, a lot of different ways we can do each exercise. So if you need to use those adaptations, do it. My only rule is you keep moving. That's all I ask for. Um, so we're going to have a few different circuits we're going to go through, have a little breaks here and there, but we're just going to get started with a nice warm up. So let me get my music going. And I'll stand up and we'll get ready to go. All right. There we go. Like I said, let's just get nice and warmed up. So I'll make sure you can see me back here. Start, just swing those arms. And, and I'm going to try and hear me. Okay, good. Okay, let's add a little bit of a butt kick in. So just kick those legs up. I'll turn so you can see. Getting the whole body moving. Good. Let's do some backwards arm circles here. Good. Switch and go forward. Good. We're going to loosen up our hips a little bit here. So what I want you to do is just kind of go side to side. Take a few extra seconds on each side. If you need to, just make sure you're really kind of opening them up. Like I said, getting that whole body ready to work today. You can go forwards. And backwards here, so I'll turn. Make sure we're not rounding that back too much. We're staying nice and flat. And just back and forth here. Good. Last thing we're going to do, just get those legs kicking. High as you can, get those hamstrings stretched out. Good. Give me a few more each way, then I'll talk about how this workout's going to go. Good, and I'll get my watch set. We're ready to go here. All right, like I said, I like to do little circuits. How this is going to work, we're going to have three exercises. We're going to go through each of them for 45 seconds. There will be a 15-second break in between, but we're just going to keep moving, okay? All right, first one we're going to have here. I'm going to demonstrate it, and then we'll get started. So the first one here. You're going to lunge forward, twist to the side that we lunged with. So make sure, keeping that chest up nice and tall, lunging forward, twist. All right, we're gonna alternate legs with this to make sure you're going back and forth. We're gonna start that first one here in five. So let's get going. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Lunge forward, twist. I'll turn so you can see it this way too. So lunging forward, keeping that knee over that ankle, twist. Getting that core involved. Good, keep working here. We have 10 seconds left. 10 seconds. Get a few more in. Three, two, one. Awesome job. We have some cardio coming up next here. What we're going to do, we're going to do some skaters. So you're back here, bending down, one leg hop, side to side. We're starting with that in. Three, two, one. Go. Make sure we're staying on nice and low, engaging that core. Eight. 
If you need modification here, take the jump out of it. So just do step, step. If you want to challenge yourself though, get that jump in. Jump. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome job. We're going to bring it on down to the floor. All right, we're going to add a little bit of core in here. What you're going to do, starting on all fours, opposite arm and leg reaching out. So opposite arm and leg, crunch. Let's get moving. 45 seconds. We're just going to stick with the same arm and leg here, and then we'll switch to it the next round. If the crunch is too difficult, just give me arm, leg, back down. Just like this. We have 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Good job, stand on up. We're going back to those lunges with twists. So remember here, we are lunging forward, twisting to the side. Going again in three, two, one, go. We're going to the side again so you can see that. Make sure keeping that chest up nice and tall. We have 15 seconds left. Three, two, one. Awesome job, we're going back to that cardio here. 15 second break in between. Keep those legs and arms moving. Remember, all we're doing here is hop side to side. If you need to, just do step. Three, two, one, let's go. Step right through, keep pushing. Keep picking up that speed when you can. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Bring it on down to the floor. So we're going to switch whatever side you didn't do before. Do that now. Remember, we're going opposite arm, leg, in. In three, two, one, go. After this, I promise we're gonna get a little bit of water in, so push it out here. We have 15 seconds left. Push it out. All right, guys. Three, two, one. Awesome first circuit, Larry. Let's get some water in. You guys have a minute break here, then we'll get going again. All right. Hope you guys are feeling good. Trust me, I'm right here with you. I'm breathing heavy. Next round's gonna be the same thing. Three exercises. We'll go through the circuit two times again. 
I'll give you guys another like 30 seconds and I'll demonstrate those moves, okay? Get that water in, calm that breathing. Whatever you do too, keep moving that body. Side to side, get those arms, keep rolling them. All right, we have like 10 more seconds and we're going into that next move. I'm gonna demonstrate it first, then we're going. All right, I'm gonna have you guys get in a squat stance. Legs are out wide, toes are pointed outwards like this. You're gonna lower yourself down, raise your arms forward, back up. Make sure fingers are facing forward, thumbs are up. Going in three, two, one, let's go. Make sure we're keeping that chest up too, core engaged. To so squat down, up, back up. Make sure you are breathing through all of this. We're not holding that breath today. Ten more seconds here. Get a few more in. Three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. Next one here. We're going to be down. Add a little bit wide in those hips. Just going to be a squat jab across. Really turn that core. So it's down a little bit. Jab across. Three, two, one. Let's go. Like I said before, keep picking up that pace when you can. We have 15 seconds here, push it. Three, two, one, awesome job guys, bring it on down to the floor. All right, what we have next here, two different ways we can do this. You get her up, laying out flat, crunch up, opposite arm to hand. If you can't do that, just regular sit up, just like this. Let's get going, 45 seconds. Look, crunch up, opposite arm to hand. Maybe you just only come down here and then go right back up. That's okay too. Do what works best for your body. We have 10 seconds left. Keep going. Three, two, one, awesome job, stand back up. We have 10 seconds, then we're going into those squats with front raises again. Breathe here, take this break. Squats going in three, two, one. Legs are out wide, toes are facing outwards. We're down, front raise. Promise you guys, by the end of this workout, your legs are gonna be burning. Like I said too, make sure we're going up for that front raise. Thumbs are up. We're always just facing forward here. Palms are facing each other. We have 10 seconds left. Get a few more in. Three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. Let's get ready for those punches. Remember, we're gonna do feet a little bit wide apart. You're down, cross jab, cross jab. Going again in three, two, one, let's go.
We're halfway through. Keep picking up that pace when you can. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. Bring it on down to the ground. After this one, we're getting that water in, so make sure you're pushing it here. Remember, feet are different things. Bring the body up, opposite arm to hand. If you need to only come back to here and then go back up, that's okay. Let's get going, 45 seconds. Make sure we're breathing through this. Give me 10 more seconds, then we get that minute long break. Work for that break here, you guys got this. Three, two, one. All right, guys, we are halfway through this workout already. Time flies, right? Get some water in here. We're going to take about a minute break, then we're going to go with round three. There's only four rounds of circuit, so like I said, we're making our way through this workout. Get that water in. Trust me, I'm right here with you. I'm sweating, I'm working. This is what we want, though. Working hard today. All right. I'll give you guys like 30 more seconds, then I'll demonstrate the next set and we'll get going, okay? Whenever you're ready, stand up. Just make sure we keep that body moving. Keep rolling those arms out. Giving you guys like 10 more seconds, then we're going through that next set. Keep pushing for me, you guys got this. Next one here. Legs are out wide. We're gonna be sitting down to one side, keeping this other leg flat and pushing our arms forward. Back up, other side, leg is straight, other is bent, push forward. Try and keep that chest up as much as we can. Next round starting in three, two, one. We got this, let's go. Push forward. Halfway through, keep going. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Next one here, gonna be a few different modifications. If you do not wanna jump to it, don't do it. What I'm gonna do is jump out, tap down. Just like this. If you wanna take the jump out of it, step out, step out, tap down. Let's go, 45 seconds. So back up a little bit. Tap down, tap down. Like I said, take the jump out, just do step out, step out, tap down, okay? Whatever works best for your body. Last 10 seconds, we got this. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. Bring it on down to the floor. What we're gonna do, hands are forward. You're lifting up your hips. What you're gonna do is bend those elbows, though. We're gonna work on those triceps. Going to three, two, one. So hips are up. Bend those elbows. If you cannot hold those hips up the whole time, go up, lower, down. Bring it back up. Do whatever works best for you. Challenge yourself though. See if you can stay up the whole time. Last 10 
We have 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Stand back up. I don't know about you guys, but my whole body is burning right now. We're working here. All right, back to the first one. Remember, legs are out wide. Sitting down to one side, press it out. Going in three, two, one. Let's go. We have 15 seconds. Last time we're doing this exercise today. Make sure you're pushing it. Three, two, one. Good job. Next one here. We have the jump out, tap down. Remember, if you don't want to do the jump, step out, step out, down. All right. Little breather here. Going again in three. Two, one, let's go. Push it here. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Bring it down to the floor. We have those tricep dips again. Last time we're doing this. All right, remember, lift up. Hips are up. Bend those elbows. Let's go, last 45 seconds with this one. Trust me guys, my triceps are burning right now too. I'm right here with you. Push through it. Woo. Shake them out if you have to. Give me 10 more seconds. Then we get that water break. Earn that break. Three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. Get that water break in. All right. All right, guys. For this last one, it's going to make us all happy here. It is only going to be 30 seconds of work, 15 second break. This is our last circuit, and then we're doing a nice cool down and stretch, then we're done. All right, get that water in, breathe here, regulate that breathing. Like I said, last round, 30 seconds of work instead of 45. We're almost at the end here, okay? Gonna give you guys like 30 more seconds, and then I'm gonna start demonstrating that next round, okay? So breathe here, stand up, keep that body moving. Take those arms out. Give yourself a little bit of luck here. Keep moving. All right, guys, for the first exercise for this last round, two different ways we can do this. You either are going to lunge backwards and high knee. If you cannot get the lunge, just give me step back, high knee. Okay, that'll be the first one. We are alternating legs. Make sure you are switching back and forth the whole time. Going in three, two, one, 30 seconds. Let's go. Ooh. If you lose your balance, let's get back into it. Try and keep that chest up tall, core engaged. Ten more seconds. This one goes by a lot quicker. Three, two, 
one. Good job, guys. 15 second break. Next one, simple move that we all know how to do. That is a jumping jack. So either full jumping jacks. If you cannot jump, step out, step out, over. Step out, step out, over. Let's go, 30 seconds. Seconds left, keep going. Three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. We're going to stay standing for this next one. All it's going to be opposite arm to leg, crunch in, crunch, crunch. All right, going in. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. We are gonna go through those three exercises one more time each and then we are all done. Keep pushing. Remember the first one here that we're gonna get into, reverse lunge, high knee. Three, two, one, go. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, jumping jacks next. Like I said before, if you cannot do the jump, step out, step out, over, back in. Just like this. If you can do the jump, push it here. Going again. In three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds. Last 10 seconds, push it. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. Last exercise of this whole class here. Just have to do opposite knee to elbow. All right, after that, we'll do a nice cool down and stretch and we're done. Last exercise going in three, two, one. Finish it up strong here. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. Get some water in there. That was a good workout. We're gonna do a little bit of a stretch and cool down, and then we're done. All right. First thing, just lock those fingers. Push those shoulders forward. Same thing, lock the fingers, bring them behind. Good, if you need to hold on to something, you can. We're just gonna do a quad stretch up. Like I said before, guys, thank you so much for joining today. Take, you took this time for yourselves. You are taking care of your health right now. That's all we can do. Make sure you keep giving yourself that time every day. Make sure you keep giving yourself that little bit of self-love. Good. Make sure that breathing is calming here. We're just gonna reach those legs down. Stretch between.
All right, guys. Anything else that you need to stretch out, move, anything at all, feel free to do that now. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining today. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And Roberta, I will let you take it from here. Bye guys. Oh, also if you ever have any fitness related questions or anything, feel free to ask Roberta for my info. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Thank you so much, Catherine, and thank you to all of you for participating in today's workout. I will be sure to share Catherine's info in our follow-up messaging. Uh, but I want to encourage you to join us. We have several digital webinars that we'll be offering over the next couple months while we're all at home, focusing on different topics like careers, healthy living, and home and garden. So I encourage you to go to our events page where you can register for those digital webinars along with additional workout Wednesdays at jefferson.edu forward slash alumni events. We're also hosting a social media contest today to celebrate our workout Wednesday. So if you'd like to participate and enter to win a Jefferson Rams water bottle, then all you need to do is complete two of the following tasks. Follow us on one of our social media channels. We have Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Like our Workout Wednesday post from today. And you can tag a fellow Jefferson or Philadelphia University graduate in the comment section. A little note, for each alumni that you tag, you'll be entered to win. So the higher your chances of winning that water bottle. Finally, if you have your own Zoom meetings and are looking for a special background, be sure to check out our, our Facebook pages where you can download a East Falls or a Center City background like the one that you see behind me. Thank you again for joining us. I hope to see you same time, same place for another 30 minute low impact workout led by our alumna Paula Beatty next week. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your week and thank you again for joining us.